pornography use is very insidious and it is hard to discern and to see. There's not needles, bottles, red bloodshot eyes. I mean, there's no evidence mm -hmm. um, except for it, it changes a person in the same way that another drug can like change their personality, their behaviors. And so I see evidence, mm -hmm. like I know he's not well. And, and I know like if, if he's doing well someday, I know one of the first things that will change is he won't be so blaming towards me. Right, <laughs> He blames me. Yeah. And his blaming you for his addiction, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel? Right, well there's some manipulative tactics that are subtle because when you love and trust somebody it's hard to really to think that they're gonna manipulate um, interactions and it was really disorienting I mean I would he would I would say to him sometimes you're turning the tables on me like I would want he I would want him to focus on something or to own something and he he was very good with with um, he, you know, he was a trained debater and communicator, and I mean, he was a pastor, so I mean, he was, yeah, I mean, linguistics was his job, and I just felt like I couldn't win with these tactics. And I mean, I remember one time us going to marriage therapy, and him saying 90% of the communication is, or communication problems is you. And just that kind of, you know, just coming at it, this little jabs, that really did deep down have an effect where I would start to wonder and doubt, you know, is it me? Like, am, am I creating these problems? But I think a lot of it was him just trying to keep me at bay and not make it about him because he, the whole thing is trying, like he's trying to not deal with it, or the whole thing about addiction is not dealing.